What's good, Coach Colin Castell here with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm going to give you three simple drills to help you improve your shooting arc. This video is brought to you by our friends over at NOAA Basketball, changing the game one shot at a time. NOAA is a revolutionary technology that's changing the way the world thinks about training shooting, and that's why we've partnered with them. So if you want to use the secret key to shooting that many NBA and elite Division I teams use, then show your coach or parent the NOAA system at the link down below. And let's make more shots and win more games. All right, so our friends over at NOAA, after studying millions and millions and millions of shots, have found out through scientific research that shooting arc is the number one key to hitting more shots. And it's one of the biggest keys that a lot of young players miss, and thus why sometimes their shooting percentage is significantly lower. So today what I want to do is I wanted to give you three drills that are going to help you improve your shooting arc really easily. So the very first one we're going to work on is what we call 180 form shooting. So we're going to start really close to the basket, and we're going to start facing away from it. So I'm just going to come down here, and I'm going to get real close to the basket, right here, almost to where my head's underneath the rim, but just a little further out. Now the reason why we want to start close is it's going to force our arc to be higher. Right? If I get ready to shoot this close, I can't possibly make it with a low arc right here. So I'm forcing this release to get up a little bit and making the rest of my mechanics kind of fall in line as well. So all we're going to do for 180 hop form is you're going to spin the ball to yourself, you're going to catch facing away from the hoop, and I'm going to do a 180 hop and then quick launch into my form shot. Again, key is I'm really working on trying to get this elbow above my eye on the release. Right? Then I'm going to reset and I'm going to go opposite. So if I hop this direction the first time, Next time I'm gonna catch and hop the opposite direction. Now one thing that's gonna help this release get a little bit higher is number one, we wanna tilt our feet just a little bit. So when I come through, I don't wanna be square to the rim with 10 toes facing forward. I wanna to try to get tilted off to the side just a little bit. That's gonna allow my shoulder muscles to come a little bit further up and allow that release to be a little bit higher. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is let my feet come forward a little bit on my shot. So as I hit this 180 hop and I get ready to shoot, I'm gonna start from one position and I'm gonna let my feet drift forward just slightly. That way my shoulders relax back and it pulls that release up just a little bit further. If you can get your reps in close to the basket on these, it's gonna translate into your live game shots, I guarantee it. All right, so on the next drill, we're working on getting a lot of arc on a form shot. So I'm gonna start out by half court and we're gonna do what we call double bounce shooting. So I'm gonna start at half court, I'm gonna spin the ball to myself and I'm gonna get a practice rep right here where I'm shooting the ball up into the air. Now the key is I'm gonna have it bounce twice and after that second bounce, I'm gonna catch it and launch into my shot. Now the reason why this is good is I'm gonna to try to keep the ball outside of the three-point line. So as I shoot it up, I'm trying to get it to bounce the second time and keep it outside of the three-point line as I'm loading into my shot. Now the reason this helps work on arc is because most young players, when they do this drill, what they do is they end up coming back and they shoot a really flat shot and then they have to run it down and it's going so flat that they get inside the three-point line, right? Because they're trying to hit that target. The key to this drill is we want to get the ball as high as we can on the practice shot, so when it hits the bounces, it stays in the same spot and doesn't go forward. A great way to check to see if you're getting good arc on your practice shot is if when the ball bounces, if the second bounce is pretty close to where the first bounce was, that's a good sign. If it bounces once and then goes forward a long ways, shot's too flat, we're not getting enough arc, right? So again, we're starting by half court, just like this, spinning to ourselves. We're getting, boom, one practice high, one bounce, two bounce, and then we're loading into our shot, right? You can adjust the range depending on your age, so if you gotta scoot in and shoot 15 footers, that's okay. We're just working on high practice shot, two bounces, so they're almost landing in the same spot, then shot goes up. All right, so now we're doing the same thing, we're starting at half court, but we're adding another element and variable. We're gonna add a little movement to it. So it all starts the same. You're gonna spin the ball to yourself, catch, you're gonna shoot it up high with your practice shot, again, getting as much arc as you can, but here's where the arc's gonna be important. As soon as I shoot my shot and I let it go up, I'm going to only let it bounce once, and as, as soon as I shoot, I'm going to turn, I'm going to touch the opposite side of the circle, and then I'm going to chase the ball down, try to catch it off of one bounce and shot. Again, this is going to force you to get a really high release and really high arc on the ball, because if I put one down low, there's no way I can touch the line and get back to it before it bounces twice, right? So the key is we want to catch it off of one bounce get it up as high as we can, that way we have a high release, we start to build that muscle memory. Again, one bounce, we're catching it, loading, firing into our shot. These are great reps, number one, get conditioning because we're running a little bit, but number two, we're getting that practice high arc, 
second one high towards the basket. Alright, so this video helped you out. I highly recommend you click the top links in the description down below and get a free copy of my sniper shooting challenge. This is a shooting challenge is going to change the way you think about your training and we're going to see how deadly your jumper can actually get. So, free workout down below, click that link and get started today. Also, huge shout out to our guys over at NOAA for sponsoring the video. They're awesome. They're changing the way the world's thinking about shooting. So, in the second link down below, you're going to want to subscribe to their channel because we're going to put out some fire content over there as well. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit the comments in the comment section down below, and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. This channel for the people, by the people, and I leave pretty much everything off request. request. So leave a comment down below, then hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.